Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, when you've just brushed your teeth. Orange juice probably isn't the best drink to have. Hey guys, welcome back to my video. There goes my excuse for why I'm single on Valentine's Day. Today's look, I don't know if you've guessed by the pink and the pink, because I don't like pink. It's going to be a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Why do I sound like I'm getting cold? This makeup look is going to be super quick and easy to do. If you are lucky enough to have a date on Valentine's Day, I hope you enjoy Without it. Without further ado, let's get into it. So my skin is already prepped and moisturised. I'm just going to apply the Baby Skin Instant Pot Eraser by Maybelline all over my face as a base. I think this has kind of melted because this is a lot more liquidy than it was yesterday. What so for foundation, I was going to use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid, but I've actually decided to go for a drugstore option, the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid, as it gives a really nice full coverage look. I'm actually just going to squirt this on the face instead of the back of my hand. It just really works better that way. Weird way of doing things I have. Sounds like Yoda then. Weird way of doing things I have. Now I'm going to apply the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in 13? 15. NW15. I'm going to pump it from the bottom up because this concealer has a tendency to give out so much product. Gonna dip my Real Techniques brush in. I'm just gonna draw two triangles under the eyes. Now this concealer dries so quick. You've got to be really fast with it. Just gonna set all this makeup in with some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now I'm using the Bourjois um, bronzer in, what shade is this? 51. It smells like chocolate, looks like chocolate, I say this every time I show it on my channel. It looks like chocolate, it tastes like, did I just say taste? It doesn't taste like chocolate, don't eat it. I'm just doing some really like, soft contour with this. We literally look tasty right now. Now I'm using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Just taking a small kind of stippling brush. Just going to... God, it smells really weird. Just going to put this on the high points of my face. Look how nice that looks. So now moving on to the eyebrows, I forgot then, I'm forgetting them a lot actually. I'm going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow, now these may look dark because this is very old and I need a new one but I just can't fork out £20 yet for my brows. Uh, just doing this really lightly, as I said this is a really old one, so it's really cakey. I'm going to take the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I'm going to take this pale shade actually up here. I'm just going to pop this all over as a base. I'm also just going to pop this on the brow bone. To highlight. Take Silk Teddy which is this really nice champagne colour. And I'm going to pop this all over the eyelid. Go over the top of that with the Little Mix um, Eye Palette by Collection and this really nice pale colour here. I'm just going to put this, put, put this all over the lid. Because I want this look to be really super shimmery, I'm just going to take the highlight shade and make sure that the eyelid is glowing, okay? I love this highlighter, it's probably like the best £15 I've ever spent. For the crease I'm going to use the MAC. The MAC Matte Brown colour, I actually don't know what the shade name of this is. It's the first time I've used it so 
sets her up, it's good. <laughs> yeah, there's putting that in the crease. You can't go wrong with MAC lipsticks or eyeshadows, they're gorgeous. I want to buy them all. I definitely recommend getting a pro palette because these are amazing. So now I'm just going to take the really shimmery brown colour and I'm just going to put this in this area out of V, I think it's called. Now, going back to the Little Mix palette, I'm just going to take this orangey shade here and a pencil brush. And all I'm doing is putting this kind of in the crease over the top of them colours, but only really lightly. But under the eyes, I'm just going to take this Kiko eyeshadow, one, two, three, and a little small brush. I'm going to tap that in here. It's going to go under the eye with this. Okay, too far down. It's going a lot darker than I expected. But so does all my makeup, it never turns out right. I'm just blending this out as you can see. And I actually like how this looks. I'm actually taking a nail art brush, but I've never used it on my nails, like it's not have any nail product on. And I'm just going to dig into this grey eyeshadow, you can't even see what I'm doing. And this is by The Natural Collection. And I'm actually just going to use this as an eyeliner. A trace for kind of like a wing. I'm actually going to darken this up. What I want to do is fill in this with a little bit of liquid eyeliner which I have done here. Now after doing that I'm just going to apply some Maybelline Lash Sensational which is my favourite mascara at the moment. Love it, I think it's slightly better than the Roller Lash um, and Curly My Eyelashes. I'm also going to add some Mega Effects by Avon. Ugh. Blush, I'm going to use the Dream Touch by Maybelline. I feel like I've been working on this makeup now for like the past, I don't know, like hour, two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Forever. Now using my concealer palette by W7, I'm going to take some shades, just the ones that suit my natural skin tone. I know which ones, and I'm just going to clean up areas that we might have fallout and just make it nice and neat and sharper I'm just going to add some black in um, the waterline use a nude lipstick or alright <laughs> or a red lipstick of course I'm going for the red this is the only time I get to wear this yeah this is the 107 in my London I'm just going to take this straight from the bullet because I'm feeling adventurous. So this is what the makeup look looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun filming this. Even though it took me about two hours, but there you go. And I might die because this is poison. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please thumbs up if you did. Comment down below any requests, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all later. Bye!